This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the molar volume of a gas. The molar volume of a gas is the volume occupied by one mole of an ideal gas. The molar volume must be stated at specific conditions. In this video, I'll be using the conditions of STP. These are a temperature of 273 Kelvin and a pressure of 100,000 Pascals. Here we can see these values plugged into the ideal gas equation, which has been rearranged to calculate for volume. As we can see, this gives us a volume of 0.0227 meters cubed. The molar volume can be determined by dividing the volume by the amount in moles. In this equation, we have a volume of 0.0227 meters cubed, which is the volume occupied by one mole of an ideal gas. So this gives us the molar volume of an ideal gas under conditions of STP, which is 0.0227 meters cubed per mole, or 22.7 decimeters cubed per mole. In the previous slide, we defined the molar volume of a gas as the volume occupied by one mole of an ideal gas under conditions of STP. Under these conditions, real gases such as oxygen, hydrogen and chlorine behave almost the same as ideal gases. For example, one mole of oxygen gas under conditions of STP will occupy a volume of 22.7 decimeters cubed. The same is true for one mole of hydrogen gas and one mole of chlorine gas. So we can now say that under conditions of STP, one mole of any gas, be it an ideal gas or a real gas, occupies a volume of 0.0 227 meters cubed, which is more commonly given as 22.7 decimeters cubed. Next, we'll look at equations that can be used to calculate either the volume or the amount in moles of a gas. The first equation we look at is used to calculate volume. To calculate the volume of a gas, multiply the amount in moles by the molar volume. An easy way to remember this equation is V equals N multiplied by 22.7. Note that this equation will give you the volume in decimeters cubed. The next equation is used to calculate the amount in moles. To calculate the amount in moles, divide the volume by the molar volume. Once again, an easy way to remember this equation is N equals V divided by 22.7. In the first example, we'll calculate the volume in decimeters cubed occupied by 0.250 moles of nitrogen gas at STP. The equation that we'll use is volume equals amount in moles multiplied by the molar volume of a gas. So the volume is equal to 0.250 multiplied by 22.7. And this gives a volume of 5.68 decimeters cubed. Note that the unit of volume in the answer is the same as that in the question, which is decimeters cubed. The next example is calculate the volume in centimeters cubed occupied by 0.00619 moles of carbon dioxide at STP. So first, we'll calculate the volume in decimeters cubed and then convert to centimeters cubed. To do this, we multiply the amount in moles by the molar volume. And this gives us 0.141 decimeters cubed. Because the question is asking for the volume in centimeters cubed, the final step is to convert from decimeters cubed to centimeters cubed. One decimeter cubed is equal to 1000 centimeters cubed. So we multiply this volume in decimeters cubed by 1000. And this gives a volume of 141 centimeters cubed of carbon dioxide. In the next example, we'll calculate the amount in moles of nitrogen in a 0.742 decimeter cubed sample. So we'll use this equation, which is N equals V divided by 22.7. The volume of nitrogen is 0.742 decimeters cubed, which we then divide by the molar volume of a gas at STP. And this gives us an amount of nitrogen of 0.0327 moles. In the next example, we'll calculate the amount in moles of CH4, which is methane, in a 2.36 centimeter cube sample at STP. The first step in this calculation is to convert the volume from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed. 
So 2.36 centimeters cubed is equal to 2.36 times 10 to the negative 3 decimeters cubed. We can then use the same equation as in the previous slide, which is n equals v divided by 22.7. So as we just calculated, the volume of CH4 is 2.36 times 10 to the negative 3 decimeters cubed, which we then divide by the molar volume of a gas at STP, which gives us an amount of methane of 1.04 times 10 to the negative 4 moles. In the last example, we'll determine the volume of hydrogen in centimeters cubed produced at STP when 2 grams of magnesium is reacted with excess hydrochloric acid. So here we have the balanced equation for the reaction. Magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. The first step is to determine the amount in moles of magnesium. To do this, we divide the mass of magnesium by the molar mass, which gives us 0.0823 moles. We then use the balanced equation to determine the ratio of magnesium to hydrogen. So from the balanced equation, we can see it's a one to one ratio. So this means that 0.0823 moles of magnesium will produce the same amount, which is 0.0823 moles of hydrogen. So in the previous slide, we determined the amount in moles of hydrogen that will be produced in the reaction. Next, we'll convert the amount in moles to volume. We'll use the equation volume equals amount in moles multiplied by 22.7. So that's 0.0823 multiplied by 22.7, which gives a volume of 1.87 decimeters cubed. In the final step, we'll convert from decimeters cubed to centimeters cubed. So 1.87 decimeters cubed is equal to 1.87 times 10 to the 3 centimeters cubed. So this is the volume of hydrogen gas produced in the reaction.